go. Alright, we're back. So, you guys took the orb off. The door went back into place. And what do you do in these first few seconds? Get the fuck out of here! Why as fast as I can? Oh, answer. I gotta get this out of here. Dog's dead. Rip. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, can we keep running? Yeah, sure. Just keep going that way. Uh, okay. Yeah, tell me one that you want me to stop moving because I'm just gonna. No, yeah, I mean, I, I say. I'm we... not gonna tell you to stop moving. Dash, I mean, no clip, and then just kind of. Yeah, really. Um, I mean, yeah, let's run all the way upstairs, honestly. And uh, reset and hope that they don't follow us all the way out and... Uh, oh, you want to reset the mobs? Yep, exactly, yeah. And hope that we don't... Oh, yeah. Tell your horse to run. <laughs> Alright. You guys... <clears throat> get the fuck out. You go back up the stairs into that large, spacious chamber uh, that is submerged under all of the sand. What do you do now? I'll move my horse there uh, to see if it dies. Should we go back up into the sand to take a long rest, or...? Yes. Yeah, let's... I think we should get the fuck out. Yeah. I say we just wait outside. I don't think they'll come outside, right? No, nah, no. Nah. Okay. So you guys want to backtrack all the way up to where your camels are. Yep. Okay. Alright. It's uh, midday. This is all happened in one day, so it's still the 26th of Frostwain. It's a nice light day. And, uh... Yeah. You guys can... I don't know, you can... Do whatever you want. Do you want to take off? Do you want to kick it? What do you want to do? Uh, I say we take a good, hard, long rest. <clears throat> yeah, just long rest here uh, outside. And heal up. Normal wash rotation. And I'm talking to my horse telepathically to know if it's being attacked. Can it so, respond? Um, I'll find that out. No. It's a spirit. Can't talk. No! It says, get him away from me. <laughs> if it's intelligent, it is six. It can understand one language of my choice. Mm. Deep speech horses. only. Horses are pretty smart. Do they have communicate telepathically? Oh, no, it's not. I don't. I guarantee you it's not intelligent. Six. Yeah, I think it understands, but it can't yeah, speak. Yeah, it's, it's two. Oh. Yeah, it's so Morse code. Creature. So if it, it, but it says, says I can communicate telepathically. Does that mean I can still issue it orders? Like, come or no? I if it on can't it, even so. understand your language, how could it understand orders? Um, good question. I guess not. Well, then can I at least like, if I can communicate with it telepathically, can I at least like know if it hangs up its phone, so to speak? Like, if I can't send any messages, yeah, you know, I know. You just well, get, I know if it's just... not receiving knowledge. I think you could send it simple orders, just nothing complex, not watch out for these raids. Just like come, go, charge, or something like that. Well, I, all I need to know like is if, 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 it's gonna be. if I know it's if I know it's at least hearing the words I'm saying, not understanding it, just like the you channel. You deeply into its eyes, trying to form a connection, you know, as you're talking to a horse. <laughs> So you guys are gonna camp out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You set up watches. I'm rolling and, for. Uh, Good. There are any conversations that you guys want to have throughout the night? Ron, <clears throat> um, give me that fucking potion back. Excuse you. This is a gift. gift. Put the potion back. <laughs> <laughs> this is. A I'll gift. give it back to you once you heal me tomorrow. 
You got any healings for all I'm wrong? going to heal you tomorrow, regardless if you give it back to me. Give it back. I don't know if I trust you. Yeah, I want to, like, walk up right, to you and be like, eh. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Hey, I'm dying over here. Alright, I'll just register that. That's all I'll say. No, my, uh, what's like 42 permanent life? Or permanent damage. So yeah, that's like taking you... away from my life, right? My max HP. Can you, uh, can you greater restore us again there? Right? Nope, they're all gone. I have to wait till tomorrow to recharge them. Isn't it through the item? Yeah, it's oh, an item, so I use it all the charges, so it has to recharge. Next day. Oh, yeah. Alright, well. Tomorrow. It looks like a bunch of us need that. So. Yeah. Uh, My dog's dead! I don't know. How did you just start hearing me screaming? <laughs> I try to comfort Spitz. <clears throat> like, we'll go we'll get uh, you a new dog. A I bigger dog. Byron's leg. Kind of weep into his leg. It's a bit uncomfortable at that, but you know, get some away from the other conversation. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then I just give like Casey a pep talk, like encouragement for like the good job that he did. But uh, your dog won't be the last one, I'm sure. Be a lot of sacrifices made in, uh, in the name of the great old one. That was pretty dangerous. Uh, a lot has to be sacrificed. We'll, uh, yeah. We won't all make it. That's, uh, some pepped up talk you gave to your troops there, Clark. Basically, like, we're all going to die for the I mean, I've basically already asked them all if they're willing to get their lives, right? So, I mean... I don't know if give our just, lives just is reminding part of the conversation. Them. Just reminding them what they're doing. Mm. Clark is the I'm sorry, John. So yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry, Hardy. We have to do this party. The night passes uneventfully. That night, there is a constellation shift, and in the sky is Volundur, god of strength and the forge. The next morning is the 27th of Frostwane. You guys awake. You gain 1 HP. And all the rest of the stuff you would normally gain. And... So, it's a severe day. You would not want to travel today. I roll 1d6 plus 1 to see which, how many charges I gain from my magic missile. Mm -hmm. So I'm back up to max for that. But for the planar ally, um, resets once per day is what I have written. I don't know if that means I get one bead back per day or if that means... No, no, you get all the bead back that you used every day. Okay. Hell yeah. So I'm using the first one on me for sure, since I'm at minus 87. So I'll go ahead and do that. Jesus Christ, so. You're using your create food and water spells or the next day? Um, no, I think I should use it to heal. Yeah. I don't think it's worth doing food. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. I'll eat a ration. Um... So does the Great Restoration remove that damage that was perma damage? It does, but it does not heal you. Understood. Alright, All right. who else needs it? Rolf! I definitely need it. Clark, Rolf, all of us, we're dying! <laughs> I have two left, so Ralph and Clark, you can get them as you both up first. Um, Did Spitz take any permanent damage? You did, right? Spitz took a 42. Load, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two thirds of my life. Sorry, Spitz. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can just rest another day and I'll get him back, so it's not that. Yeah. We're going to just hunker down today, I think. Anyways. And then I'm going to cast Aura of Vitality twice. 
And then also I have 50, 55 lamb hands, since I didn't use the 5 from last night. I assume I used the 5, so 55 plus... Wait, wait, wait. wait. What's your, what's your max? It's 50. Yeah, you don't get 55. Well, I would sorry, okay, never mind. If I didn't say it last night, I should have said it. I'm gonna store it for 30 days. And 5,000 No, I'm saying that, like, I would have just used it before I went to bed, but I didn't say that it did, so I didn't. No, you didn't say. Yeah, so I'll use 50 Leon hands and I have, um, 2d6 it's... times 10, 20d6. Alright, the math right work out correctly. Each minute, six seconds. All right, I'm going yes. Yeah. Twenty-six plus fifty, sixty-eight plus sixty-one, hundred twenty-nine, hundred and seventy-nine healing. That's what I have. I'll I'm going to use. That. I'm going to use one hundred and one for myself. Jesus. So you have a seventy left. Or oh. You have seventy-eight left. Six. Seventy-eight. Yeah. So you have 70 left, I took any of that. And I'll hand you the potion pack after you heal me. Alright. <laughs> How much did you take of that? Sorry. You took 8. eight. eight. There's 70 oh. left. Um, I will take... I, got, um, <clears throat> I mean, I will literally take all 70 of that. <laughs> what about Rolf? Fine. Just split it 35, 35. Fine. Let, me, let me let me hit die a couple of times here. All right, there you go. So, uh, <sighs> you cool with me taking my like twenty? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. seventy split. Just do um. Fine. Spitz probably needs it the least right now since you're, aren't you like you're permanently damaged anyways? So yeah. tomorrow, once I remove it, I can heal you more. Oh, I thought, yeah. I, now, we I only need 44 yet. of it now, so. 44, alright, then, Ralph, you get the last 20, 26. Wow, neat. Wow, neat. You get the leftover scraps. Sorry about your life, <laughs> And then, wait, I can cure wounds uh, four times, so I'll do that, too. Cure our wounds, we're dying. Why isn't this spell working? It's annoying. Or I'll cast him as. Well, I guess it's six times. I'm gonna cast it twice as a second level spell. Should be two d eight plus. Who are you doing it to? I'm gonna do it to you, Ralph. Plus six. Okay. I'll do it to him, Daddy. So is that enough for oh. you? Or do you need more? Uh, hold on. That, just that first one is more than enough. Alright, then 16 will go to Spitz. Okay. And then... I have four of 1d8s. Um, Spitz and Byron, do you need any of this healing? No, I'm yeah. not cool. Alright, then I'll just dump it all to Spitz then. Okay. 16, <laughs> all the way to the 8. And I am out of spell slots. I'm up to full. Yeah. I assume Casey gets some of that, so he's back to full. Thing, and he could probably go to full with hit dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> is there anything else that you guys want to do or say today? <clears throat> we're camping. Uh, I mean, we we can't not go back in there, boys. Yeah, we have to finish the team up. know that. So. Yeah, I understand. We have a or. Yeah. After this, we're gonna have to get Spit to new companion though. Yeah. Can you? <laughs> Can I give him my horse? Spitz looks the ground. Replaced. Can I summon a really small pony to give him? You want a shark? Right. Right. Uh, I'll just go. I'll just go scouting around. Uh, I think the desert. Okay, yeah, that not right now because it's here. <clears throat> right as Lord Byron says that, Ralph uh, takes off his master pouch and throws it on the ground. I'm like, I don't need him. Is what? Where is it? What? Oh, yeah, I had two mastiffs on a patch on my coat. Oh my god. Mastiffs? <laughs> Jesus, yeah. what? Wait, is that like a, a fucking giant... Is that the, the, the guy from Ice Age? The big dogs. Oh, they're the dogs. Oh, I was thinking of a... Oh, oh, mammoth. Shit. You're thinking of a mammoth. I'm thinking of a mammoth. I don't know why I was thinking of a mammoth. Never mind. 
<laughs> two mammoths <laughs> in the desert. Oh, man. Hell yeah! No desert mammoth. That's a lot of water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys think Aquarius is bad? Where the fuck his name was? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, oh, it shit. happens. There's two, two mastiffs appear before you. Um, what I know if these are fake creatures? They're not. Alright. As long as they're legit, I'll take one. I mean, you don't know. But they're not. And All once right. he does like the bonding ritual, he'll find out. Right. I'll start. Have these messers work in your world. They do the. Oh well. Sorry. Yeah, you have to show him some love. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I will like start to court one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start to like. Our nice is and <laughs> Tell him it looks uh, good. JRH MBR. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> guess it is for a halfling. No, I was just trying to bond with one. Okay. Watch sure. Netflix. Uh, Netflix yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Sure. It, yeah, it says um, you can tame one in an hour, right? I think that's what the rule is. Yeah, so. it doesn't take much time. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that right. you knew, so I wouldn't have to look. God, damn. So, I'm going to ready a revive spell, just in case one of us dies. Because that was pretty close. Let me go back in. And I have a diamond for it, so don't what worry. Is, what spending is, uh... eight hours magically mm -hmm. bonding with it. Okay. Of the same type or a different Okay. So you do you want to spend uh I don't know, all night or whatever hanging out with this You know what? No man. I changed my mind. I'd be grieving. I haven't even grieved my dog. I'm not going yeah. to just turn cold. Okay. No. Well, Ralph, you have two dogs now. <laughs> That's all thing. right. Fuck it. They seem to like it. I, I did not they, like it. Though. They lap at your heels and they. You know. yeah. Alright. Deep like, breathing oh, intensifies. Oh. <laughs> running around the tent. God. You can't Calm sleep down, all night because they're running around. Calm down. Give them both. Kissing <laughs> on everything. <laughs> Give them both the Worthers. <laughs> turns out, like turns out dogs are allergic to Worthers. <laughs> okay, good boys. Oh, um, they both have seven HP. Oh, <laughs> so you <laughs> <see they're> gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> they're gonna die real fast. Uh, so. Thanks to the slaughter, boys. <laughs> yeah, we should just rest here again, so yeah. we can restore and go back in the next day. What's or this? Uh, what's this revive spell you're talking about, do? Okay, so you want to flip to the twenty eighth because um, today's severe. You want to go to a light, the light day, in the next day. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are ready. Okay. So you guys camp out. Nothing <laughs> happens. Everything's fine. You wake up. It's a light day on the twenty eighth. You get one more or two HP because you sat around all day yesterday. And, uh, fatigue and all that crap. Mm. All right. So, who needs uh, restoration? Did you fire? have? Sorry. Excuse me. Did you have? A spell slot. I guess you did. You did food and water for them yesterday. Right? No, I didn't. I didn't. I specifically did not. Yeah, you, yeah, you <laughs> ate. Yeah, you had heals on all your spell slots. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys, I need uh, you to get rid of food and water rations then for yep. six people. Yep. Already done. Good. So yeah, it's early in the morning. What do y'all do? I have two beads. One for Byron and um. Uh, Spitz restoration. Do you guys need that? I don't need it. Yeah. All right. I'll Stay give it to uh, Spitz, and then I'll cast. Um, how much health do you need? Uh, like forty. Forty. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I will see. I'm gonna roll two cure and wounds level one. See what it gives me. 
And I'll use the West rest. No hands. Teen. All right, I'll give you thirty. Lay on hands. You should have forty-six total healing. All right. Cool. Down two slots though. So what are we doing? Going back in, right? <sighs> yeah. I have divine sense. I don't know if I should be able to see him through walls, but I should be using that more. Mm -hmm. I have three charges. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You could take yep. one more day so you could restore the rest of your uh, slots, or you could take like do you regain slots uh, on a short rest for Paladin? No, it's just Warlocks. Yeah, Warlocks. I just cast mm. Cure Wounds on myself. I'm not on Max now. Wait, yeah, that's you. Weren't you at 40 something missing? 42? Uh, we can. Spitz? How's it going? Weren't you at like 40 something HP missing? Yeah, what did you make? I gave you 46. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, I thought you said 30. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, do we want to take another day then? Or. Um, I, mean, I get sure two it's... first level slots back and uh, 30 lay on hands. Is that worth it? Worth the rations? Oh, we also get hit dice as well. That's right. We yeah. Okay, rack. then, yeah. I'll also just use create food and water for the rest then. Don't have to burn rations. Okay. For the day. Cool. <clears throat> Okay. And then we'll just fast forward again. Cool. <coughs> you guys talk and hang out. Uh, Rolf plays with his dogs, and uh, you call it another day. It's rolling around it's in the same with <laughs> Yeah, it's the 29th of Frostwing. It's a another light day, great for travel if you feel like running away, and uh, you gain another two HP if you need it. And another fatigue point, and all that stuff. You wake up, and what do you do? Go in. Give the team a pep talk. Um, yeah, I mean, go. Do we go right back in there? It will keep you alive, Clark. We know. Yeah, we understand. yeah. I'm the important one here. I'm all that matters. <laughs> Um, but I'll do everything I can to make sure you guys live until I think I might die. Understandable. But, uh, yeah, are, are we going to go right back into the spot where we were? Are you guys all right with that? Or, yeah, let's do it. Because I think that's yeah. the only place we have that we can go. That we know of, yeah. Okay. Seems like we are all in agreement on that. I'm going to drag you back to level one. There you are. Bottom of the map there. Um, the dogs are with you, Ralph, until f you don't want them to be, I suppose. Mm. Could use them. <clears throat> oh. We could use some good boys as cannon fodder, you know. Some good, good 7 HP boys. They're sniffing around. Um, they're sniffing at this nasty shit. Ugh. <sighs> Oof. One of them, like, bad. leaps onto it, and the bowl is starting to tip over. It's, like, trying to get at it. Oh, God. Do <sighs> control your dogs, or <laughs> I already made them mistake. Stop it. Made them mistake. No. One of you. Please. Leave it! <laughs> well, they don't obey your commands necessarily, because you're not a beast master or anything like that, but whatever. They will they get bored. Good. Can I just leash him up to the horse? Okay. Sure. So, um, when we go downstairs, they can't come through the walls. So do we... I want to fight them in a hallway with Pride in front and then Byron behind because Byron can attack two spaces in. Because he has reach. That works. 
And then Rolf and I and Casey. It works. I like the plan. Just remember, I, I have revived Clark, so it's so important I am. Yeah. So, yeah. Did that's, you not, like, that's cast it. that sickening radiance thing before we go in? Or, like, that ball of death? I mean, yeah, the, the issue with Circle of Death is it's 60 foot radius. So... I have to get it a long ways away, and there's not really any good places um, in there. But that it being has said, to be somewhere you uh, able to see, or it doesn't exactly state that. So that's the one thing that I was going to ask. Um, so it literally just says a point sixty feet away, or a point. A sphere of negative energy ripples out uh, in a 60-foot radius sphere from a point within range. That's all it says. So it could be within a wall, right? Like, it's a point that I know exists, but can't really see. And it's occupied by dirt. It would still emanate out, right? <clears throat> I don't necessarily um, have to see. I'm gonna point. take a, I'm gonna take a half measure on this and say, you don't have to have line of sight of it, but you have to have seen the point. So you can't like say 150 feet in the in that dirt. <clears throat> yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, maybe scrap that for now. Well, no. I mean that that opens it up a lot more for me because I know where points are. You know, I could, I could launch it down that hallway somewhere you know i had to so yeah awesome. but uh yeah i can like lay down hunger of hadar if they're coming at us i'd just rather so not friendly right fire do you want to do you want to wake them up first before we try to uh attack them again or do you want to like uh no if wait, they're, just if, uh, if they're not awake i mean if they went back into their hibernation or whatever, like, I think we'd try to not disturb them because all the fighting and stuff didn't disturb them. It was the yelling that seemed, the screaming that seemed to disturb them. So I think we might be able to, if they're hibernating again, we might be able to traverse the catacombs without them waking up. Anyone who's privy to this conversation can make a history check. Mm. Mm, undead lore, we'll call it. Hard check. Mm. Well, twenty's the number. Nope. Oof, 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 oof. Good Rolf doesn't know. <laughs> uh, Paladin, be our saving grace. I wasn't. I wasn't there next to the conversation, right? Oh my god. Okay. I was way over here. Okay. Sure. Just fucking around. All so. right. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, so... Um, I mean... Judging by what that book said, I, I really thought that, um... That the... Uh, those screechers were keeping them asleep, but... It seems like they were there to wake them up. Wake yeah, me it up! Seems like that. So uh, it seems like a good system. Uh, so if we encounter more of those screamers, we're gonna have to silence them pretty quickly. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from this. So I, yeah, I think we have to traverse in a straight line as a team. If we're in a room, what's the best method as defense in a room? Like when we went from that from one hallway into that room with the book into another hallway. Just block the door off with the tanks. Like have the Do we like surround the we... surround you guys um keep you guys since you're adjacent to the wall, and then we'll just surround the insides of the room. If we're sense. if we're retreating 
Is it, would it be smart, do you think? To cast Hunger of Hadar, and I can guide us through it? Do you want to hold hands? Uh, that's... I mean, it, it, might be, it might be two rounds of damage that we would take. Better than 30s and 40s of Necrotic, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can just hold hands. So those things are, like... Okay. That's a good point. If those things are, like, siphoning off that damage that, like, rots away our flesh, is it, like, a good assumption to think that maybe that ball of death spell might not... Because if they're made of it, Maybe. and it, like, rips Maybe. out our soul... Hmm. Hard Maybe. to tell. We, yeah. we do have that Radiant spell. One of you is able to cast it, I think. Right? You try that. Um, Instead. I think Rolf might know Sickening Radiance. I no longer do. I do have exact static, if we though. do that instead. Yeah, that as well. You call. Um, the other thing that I want a little clarification on DM is synaptic static. Um does that that doesn't go around corners, right? The way I read it, I almost think it doesn't. But it's the sound. Right, so maybe, maybe like ref um, reflections and bouncing. Mm. Like I think maybe it would actually work in a similar way that Hunger of Hadar did, where we ruled that it wouldn't have like just gone through the wall, but it went around the corners. It's something so, like psychic. Most of the time, when they mean for a spell to function that way, they yeah. mention it. Like, Fireball specifically says, spreads around corners. Right. So... Which usually means if it doesn't say that, it probably doesn't. It won't go through walls, it won't, like, go around weird corners mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. So... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I didn't use it in that last I, combat because I didn't think yeah. it would go around corners. And I right. figured the one the one time I thought I might be able to use it, it was only going to hit one, so I didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to be flexible, you know, if it's like kind of close or whatever, but don't have it be like around a, you know, yeah. six foot wall or something. Like, like going through that hallway that was like a, you know, zigzag. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do in these halls aside from I can push stuff back. If that's something that you guys want, I can push them back. But if there's a lot Depends of them, on the context, yeah. really. Well, are these are they undead? Do you know these creatures? Pro it looked undead. I think everything in here is undead. Right, then, yeah, they, I can... they almost look like celestial or something, right? They were like, were they just like, well, not celestial, but, um, they were like ghostly, like right? something like black and yeah, they were looked, the screamers look ghostly and the shadowy things look <clears throat> kind of evil and ghosty. So I think it would be undead. Maybe. Okay. Probably. If they're, if that's true, then I can use some, uh, the control undead or the flea undead spell. I, an Turn undead. Control and dead, then dreadful aspect. Just oh, makes, okay. them all, makes them all frightened, or I just completely control them. But I don't know if they're undead okay. or not. These divine sense verse. That's probably something you should use as soon as you get in there, just so you could know where they're hiding. Because they could just be waiting in the walls again. In the walls, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. I want to cast pass without trace. Okay. Sweet. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait the door. Okay, so we are gonna walk in that order then. Yes. 
Okay, so you are tying the dogs down to the horse, correct? Rolf? Yeah, they're gonna, gonna get know. beast up since they already... They don't really listen to me. Almost tipped okay. over the goo gone. They don't, they don't like the idea very much, but oh. they go with it. I was like, it's okay. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. they okay. can't see, like, you walk away with any anything that they have. Any, what do you even have as a form of light, by the way, you guys? The bullseye Otherwise, lantern, right? No, that was left on the ground. Yeah, it's left um, Someone cast um, radiance on my weapon, I guess. I mean, I can way. cast. I can cast light on your weapon. I'll cast. Yeah, light just do on that. Fuck it. Okay. I do have a lantern on my jacket. <laughs> yeah. So the dogs are being left in the dark, oh, um, and they hate this. So like, it'll be fine. They start to bark. Oh my god. Let's bark, toss bark, the torch over bark, there or something. Bark, bark, cast bark, light bark, in bark, that area bark, or bark. something. Alright. Can I just toss a lit torch? <laughs> Not at them, but <laughs> Yeah. Look at these dogs. They, they start That's to set whine. My dogs on fire. 